right, so uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to do number six, create a C++ program, prompt the user to enter an integer number. The program display the number uh, is an even or an odd number. The program continue until user enter a sentinel of zero. So the, the sentinel is zero, okay? So we are going to have our uh, chapter seven uh, solution right now. And I'm going to start with my golden seven line. Oh, that, I did not that. Okay, sure, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm tor terrible. All right, so let's have the golden seven line. So you can see my screen right now. Yes, it's okay. Thank you for reminding me, okay? So so I'm going to have... Okay, so gentlemen, we are going to do this. We're going to have integer number. So we say integer num, it's okay. So uh, for doing loop, my recommendation, that's why I want to do this question with you. My recommendation is you do like with no loop first. No loop first. So you want to add a number. So you say CL, enter an integer. All right. We do like that. So backslash n. So do like what you did uh, from chapter 1 to 6 and see in none. All right, so this will be okay because you know how to do that. Then after that, you check, right? If even, so then you use if statement. If num, and you want to mod by 2, you know that mod by 2, and the result is 0, and this will be, you say, um, num is even, even, okay? Else, and you say, um, num um, is odd. All right, so this will be okay. Is that right? Do you understand this? This will be enter a number and divide, divide this number by two, no remainder. That means equal, equal zero. So let me run this with you right now. I build this <coughs> and, <coughs> and I start without debugging here right now. And um, so let me see why. All right, it's so slow. So I'm going to put 10. So 10 is even. Now, to to be able to do this program again, I have to do start without debugging again. So then uh, I need to wait for this very slow. And <clears throat> once it pop out, if I put 9, <clears throat> it's very slow. I don't know why today. All right, so we put uh, 19, how about 19? Then is odd. So now we are going to enter loop right now. So um, if we have, if I have the loop, I can do again and again. My sentinel is zero. So I'm going to show you. So first you make without program. First you make without program. Then here you modify, make a sentinel here. Then you say, enter zero to stop all right so first you do that you modify that and now this is your this is your first this is your primary read right so i want you to do control c control c then after primary read here press enter press enter is that okay press enter and type while j 
just type while, then press tap, tap the shortcut. All right. Then did you copy these? We already copied, right? Control C. This is your primary read, and your update read is right before this parentheses, before line twelve, before these braces. Okay, so, so now your structure is correct right now. Primary read and update read, and while and you that sentinel is as long sentinel is zero. So as long as not equal to zero. So you want to say as long as number not equal to zero. All right. Once you finish these, then you're going to copy whatever you have here. Okay. This is called your looping body. This is called your looping body. You control X, X. Then you put before the secondary read. All right. I want you to do like this way. So your uh your Uh, your concept will be correct. So build it. Then start without debugging. All right. Today my program is very slow. I don't know why. Maybe I need to delete something. Oh. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now if I put four, then four is even. I put three. Ah,、uh, three is ah.、Uh, I put ah eighteen, eighteen is even. I put twenty one, twenty one will be ah. So this will be on and on, on and on because it loop right now until I put zero, and the program will end. Do you understand this? Let me repeat this a primary, primary ah、uh, this while loop. I chose this one as primary ah、uh, while loop because I notice I'm just going to have one input. I'm just going to. Enter integer one integer. I don't have、uh, enter、uh, integer another integer. No, just have one integer. If you do, if you have that, then most likely you want to choose while loop. Then the condition. Take look in while loop. The condition usually we will the condition here is compare compare to your sentinel. You you need to set up a sentinel to stop the program. So our sentinel is zero right now. All right. Then the secondary read will be right before, right before these ah、uh, these ah、uh, braces, wire braces. Do you understand a little bit better right now? Yes or no? Ah,、uh, do you understand this right now? All right. So. I hope you like while loop. 